Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecast with your love reading for the second half of November. So I'll be starting off with my modern day Seers Tarot and Oracle. If you're not familiar with this particular deck, it is one that I created. Um, I like to call it Tarot with a Twist. It includes all of the usual tarot messages as well as Oracle messages and new court cards. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's coming through here for you. General advice as always, guys, so please keep that in mind throughout your reading. Okay, so let's begin. What do we need to know here? So we're starting off with the Eight of Pentacles. There could be something tied into your work environment. Rewards achieved, particular goals that you've um, been able to achieve in the 3D. We do have Archangel Daniel coming through. Some of you guys might be dealing with somebody named Daniel. Your name could be Daniel. Okay, so it, it does say that I am the angel of marriage, union, and eloquence. So that's what Archangel Daniel represents. It goes on to say, I can help you attract love into your life to help you become the best version of yourself so you can be the ideal partner for your ideal partner. When you are fulfilled and whole within yourself, this paves the way for finding true love through another. I can help heal those who are going through a divorce or separation to reignite and maintain the spark in your partnerships. I am here to help open your heart chakra. So if you're going through any challenges in your romantic life, Archangel Daniel is here to help you in any way that is needed. The Eight of Pentacles is also about putting in that hard work that's needed in order for something to thrive and to grow. And that applies to your love life as well, Aquarius, okay? We also have the Ace of Cups. That can apply to you specifically at this time where you're focused on, or at least the need to be able to focus on filling that cup for yourself first in order to be able to offer to someone else the love that you have in your heart. I feel there's the opportunities for new beginnings in your romantic life. And this could be an indication that things are going to improve and get better in that area. And again, Archangel Daniel is here to assist in that. We do have the Three of Wands. This is about moving forward, looking ahead. It's what's on the horizon. What's on the horizon could be new love for some of you and getting to a place in your life where you are content, where you are fulfilled, where you are happy with the choices that you have made. And it's very important for you to choose wisely. We do have the Two of Wands presenting you with a couple of paths. It's up to you which path you decide to take. It is your choice. It is your decision. And whichever path you do take, that's going to mold the outcome of your future. So make sure you choose well, you choose wisely. That's what I'm getting there. We've got the Nine of Cups, beautiful energy, of course. And as far as your finances, I see pretty positive things happening there. But this can also apply to your love life where you are content and in a much better position to be able to fulfill your wish in love, in romance, in a romantic partnership where you're satisfied with the direction that your life is taking. All right, let's see what else for Aquarius. So this is one of the new court cards, the Baroness of Earth. So the Baroness of Earth representing divine feminine, Earth sign specifically, so Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, so divine feminine, you could either be the Earth sign here, and be cross-watching for an Aquarian, perhaps, Divine Masculine Aquarius. So the Baroness of Earth is somebody who can be very supportive and caring in a partnership. The interesting thing, too, about the Baroness of Earth is you tend to be very budget conscious. So if money was a factor, overspending, living beyond 
our means, if any of those things were a factor, perhaps this is something that you are very good at to be able to save for a rainy day. You could have been dealing with a masculine who could be the spender, you know, a big spender where they're not tapped into their budget and they tend to overspend. Okay, let's see what else. For Aquarius, what else do we need to know here? So we've got Archangel Raguel coming through. I am the angel who can restore harmony, heal conflicts and arguments, as well as mending understandings in your relationships. So both of these Archangels coming through are here to assist in your partnerships, your romantic life, certainly any of the challenges and tensions that might be presenting itself there. So that's a good thing in order for you to be able to manifest a better relationship for yourself. It could even include reconciliations for those of you who are apart. Okay, it goes on to say, I can help you gain the wisdom to smooth out tensions and hostilities in your romantic connections. My presence can aid in bringing in peace forgiveness, and the calm of God's grace and blessings. I can help you miraculously heal even the most difficult love situations. So whatever difficulty you might have endured, there is healing needed for sure. But I feel that things can turn around. So we do see a tower moment. That could be why things were so challenging. And it created destruction of the foundation of the relationship. But I feel you only have one way to go, which is up when you experience a tower moment. However difficult it might be to learn that lesson, you know, but there is a lesson to be learned in that. So despite when this might have happened, it seems with the three of wands right above it, it's time to now focus on the future and the type of future that you ultimately could create with someone or even for yourself. We also have the Christmas tree card. So, of course, it's a very happy time. Holiday season, it's right around the corner. December especially, of course. And it's, as we can see, merry, sociable, very popular. Lots of friends, family-oriented, optimistic, loves to give gifts, generous, joyful personality. So, it could represent all of those amazing energies as we enter into Sagittarius season especially you know so that's around the corner so let's grab some dialogue messages here aquarius from either the person you're thinking about or what it is that you would want to say to them if you could but we're seeing some challenges you don't just get a tower moment and not go through something very difficult so it could also be during christmas time when things can turn around for the better and be a lot happier and joyful. All right, let's grab some messages here for Aquarius. I can't believe I let you get away. That's a part of their regret that they did certain things that created challenges for sure. Here we are with those challenges, the destruction, the catastrophe, the chaos. Wow. What else do we need to know here, please? What are additional messages for Aquarius? You have been on my mind. This person's thinking about you. They've been thinking a lot about you lately. And who knows, maybe around Christmas time you'll hear from this person. It was just too much for me at the time. So they could have been overwhelmed by the love connection. Maybe they, they weren't ready for a commitment. Whatever the reason was, it was just too much for them. They could not handle it. Bottom of the deck, I love you more than you are aware. So, you know, if they weren't ready, if it was too much for them and you guys ended up breaking up, maybe you felt like they weren't fully invested in the connection or that they didn't love you the way you needed them to love you. But I feel they do. It's just that now they're coming to the realization of how much, you know, just how much they truly have all of these feelings in their heart for you. 
So let's continue to tap into that energy here and see what else we can find out for you, Aquarius. There's somebody out there who still has so much love for you, but maybe they just were not the type to fully express it. And again, we do see the Tower card. So I'll be pulling from my new deck, the Infernos and Icicles Romance Oracle, when love runs hot and cold. So let's see what's going on between the two of you here. What else do we need to know for Aquarius, please? Feel the burn of desire. No doubt there's desire there. Their attraction to you, it's still there. Lick me, kiss me, taste me. I feel when it comes to those intimate moments, that's still a part of their thoughts. Could still be a part of their fantasy to be with you. Let's grab one more here. For Aquarius. All right, yours is the only touch I hunger for, the only kiss I long to taste. Isn't that interesting? The only true love for me, our fiery chemistry is out of this galaxy. And they now recognize that, you know. So I feel they're regretful of how they might have held themselves back from you. And that created this distance and time apart with that tower moment. And so I feel that's why we've got both Archangel Daniel and Archangel Raguel here to assist in the relationship, to be able to clear out those conflicts between the two of you and bring in some sort of peace and harmony back into the relationship. So let's go ahead and grab some insight here. That's what they're thinking about your kiss the very taste of you there's something about that let's pull from my celestial cosmos tarot for aquarius yep they're definitely thinking about you we've got that six of cups showing up they're feeling quite nostalgic about the past yes indeed Look at this. All right, so we've got the King of Swords. If you are dealing with a Divine Masculine Aquarian, the King of Swords represents that. They can be very loyal in a relationship, but until they're ready to be loyal, they tend to think very logically, perhaps. They can be a little bit cold in the heart space and their emotions. They're not quite tapped into that. So that could have been the issue that you were dealing with a divine masculine who was trying to think this through from a more logical standpoint rather than in, in their heart. But part of their energy too, as we can see that mental clarity. So they have been able to learn certain things about themselves and how this connection is affecting them today. And they're thinking about you quite a bit. Let's see what else. Look at that. We've got the star now again representing Aquarius. So this could be quite rare for some of you, but maybe you're both Aquarius or you both have Aquarius in your chart. I'm getting that for someone. And we do have a wish that may possibly come true as far as coming back together. The Six of Cups can represent a possible reunion. At least that's what this person is wishing for. So that could be the masculine wishing for that. Ooh, this is interesting, though. We've got the Four of Cups, so they might be wishing for it, but they're also afraid that maybe they've missed the chance to make this a reality and that it will continue to be a fantasy, okay? That's just how they're, they're feeling or thinking about this. Four of Cups can represent the regrets. We see that there. It can also represent the fact that they feel they've disconnected or you've disconnected and that there's this feeling of apathy between the two of you. They've been thinking a lot about this, but I feel they are understanding from their point of view that they've missed out. They really do. They feel like they've missed the chance. 
but they still hope and wish that this can turn around. They're, they're really hoping and wishing that this situation could ultimately be better, be different. And it's possible for some of you, but it's going to take a lot. And I feel divine intervention might need to come into this in order to help you guys on this journey. But it's, it's coming forward from the masculine. Look at these cards. And now we've got the sun. So we have a divine masculine showing up as the emperor. And they feel happiest, divine feminine, when they're with you. Nothing else, no one else has fulfilled this masculine, unlike the one feminine that really has captured their heart. And that was a lesson that required that tower moment in order for them to learn that. Yep. Look at this. We now have the magician. Some of you could be dealing with Gemini or Virgo. So this is what they're wanting. And I feel this message goes out to the feminines that you have a masculine here. Whoever represents the divine masculine in the relationship they want nothing more than to make this wish a reality. They don't want to keep fantasizing about it. They want it to be a tangible reality, part of their life where they can hold you, touch you, taste you, kiss you, all of those things. And um, I feel they're very much focused on that, which is why they can't seem to get you off of their mind. And so they, they would love nothing more than to manifest that in the 3D because you ultimately represent their happiness. That is what I'm getting there. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there, Aquarius. Some pretty positive messages that could come from this, but I feel you both have to be on board, of course. And if you're not, part of this manifestation could be taking you down a very different road. You've got the will of fortune on your side. All right, so it's really up to you how this plays out, but at least when it comes to maybe an ex-partner, somebody who did you wrong, um, they certainly are wanting to come towards you as a very different person, I feel. Maybe they've worked on themselves. You might not even recognize them when or if you guys ever reconnect and be able to be face-to-face -face once again. So you've got some decisions to come to terms with, I feel, Aquarius, depending on how this is going to affect you, but it can have a very happy ending, okay? And sometimes happy endings don't require you being in a relationship. Some people find that happy ending just being content, fulfilled, and happy on their own journey, all right? So it's totally up to you how this plays out. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.